Hello, good to see you. My name's Tony, FMDNA, back for some more tactic testing for our tactic testing league. A lot of teas. I saw this tactic on FM Base and thought, why not? It's called 424 West Ham. It's got West Ham in the title, and we test our tactic with Main City, West Ham, and Bournemouth. So why not try it out? It must be a good tactic for West Ham. Will it be good with Main City and Bournemouth as well? Time will tell. If you want to download this tactic, the link for it will be in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, we do run over the tactic, or I run over the tactic later on in the video. So if you can't download it, get to the end of the video, copy everything I'll show you there, because I will run over the instructions. Right, this is Main City's best 11 in the formation, so let's get to their results. Community Shield, great start. 3-1 against Liverpool. Carabao Cup, not so great. Losing on penalties over two legs against Man United in the FA Cup. Losing to Brighton on penalties in the fifth round in the Champions League. Topped the very tough group, 1-5, drew one, didn't lose a single game and ended with 16 points in the knockout rounds. They lost against Real Madrid in the quarterfinal, even though they were 5-1 up from the first leg. Second leg, they lost 6-0 in the Premier League. Champions, 96 points, 131, drew three, lost four, goals for 109, goals against only 25, good goal difference of 84 and a good points tally of 96. We check out their player stats. Highlands their top goal scorer with 48 goals. Phil Foden with 28 and Diaz with 20 assist-wise. They come from Kevin De Bruyne, 21. Bernardo Silva, 20. Average rating-wise, best performer is Highland with a 7.74. And Phil Foden had a very good season with a 7.38. Clean sheets-wise, what do we have? We've got 28 clean sheets in all competitions. We look at that team overall view. Most points per game, this is great, a 2.53. Most goals, 109. Most shots for 913, fewer shots against 283, best pass completion, most possession, yes, 7th place, 54%, most tackles won, no, most dribbles made, 5th place, 704, most clean sheets, 2nd place, 20 clean sheets, very good, fewest conceding, only conceding 25, like I said, very good defensively, not too bad going forward as well, 96 points, a really good start, cup competitions, terrible, terrible, absolutely rubbish. But in the league, great. Now let's test it with West Ham. And this is their best 11 at the start of the season. This is what the assistant manager should be playing. And I'm really looking forward to this one. It's got West Ham in the title. 4-2-4 West Ham. So I'm expecting big things. Carabao Cup, they got to the quarterfinal and lost 4-2 against Chelsea in the FA Cup. Got knocked out against Leicester 2-1. If we take a look at the Conference League. Top their group, 1-6. Scored 30 goals. Only conceded 3 goals in the group stages. And finished on 18 points in the knockout rounds. They got knocked out against Fiorentina in the last 16 in the Premier League. They finished in fifth place, five places above their season preview, which is great. They won 21, drew eight, lost nine, goals for 92, goals against 48, goal difference of 44, and a points tally of 71, which is not bad at all. We check out their player stats. Skamak is their top goal scorer with 26 goals, just about, because Kurt Zuma's got 25. Danny Ings has got 20. Assist wise, we got Bowen with 37. Average rating wise, Bowen is the best performer with a 7.53. And clean sheets wise, we got 19 clean sheets in all competitions, which is very good. We check out their team overall view. Most points per game are in fifth spot with a 1.87. Most goals, second place with 92. Most shots for third place, 746. Fewer shots against third place, 384. Best pass completion, most possession, most tackles won. Third spot here with 831. Most dribbles made, most clean sheets, fewest conceded. Yes, seventh place, only conceded 48. Again, cup competitions, not great. But in the league, 71 points, again, doing very well. So, all we need now is the Bournemouth to do half decent and we've got a great tactic. So far, it does seem like a great tactic, but just need Bournemouth to do well and that'd be in the top 20. And you know by now, Bournemouth's normally the team that lets us tactic down or tactics down. So let's look at their results. And this is their best 11 at the start of the season without restrictions. Now for their results. In the Carabao Cup, they got knocked out in the second round, losing to a future Premier League team, Luton, on penalties. Well, they got to the semi-final of the FA Cup and lost 2-1 against Liverpool very close. But they beat Man City along the way. They beat Newcastle on penalties along the way. Just a shame about Liverpool. We check out the Premier League. Season preview to finish 20th, to finish 8th in the league. This is a good tactic. 116, drew 9, lost 13, goals for 63, goals in length 51, 
Goldham's a 12 and a points tally of 57 and we'll check out their player stats. Dominic Solanke's their top goal scorer with 20 goals. Assist wise we've got Christie with 7. Average rating wise this guy played 3 times as a sub. He can't be the best performer in the league. It is Dominic Solanke with 7.15 and clean sheets very good with Bournemouth. 13 clean sheets in all competitions. We check out the team overview. We're on in 8th place with a 1.50 most goals, 4th place, 63. Most shots for, 5th place, 587. Fewer shots against, best pass completion, most possession, most tackles won, 4th place here, 805. Most rules made, most clean sheets, fewest conceded, we're not on there. Bournemouth had a really good season. This is going to be interesting. Right, now let me add all the points and put it on a little fun tactic test league table, which is coming up next. 424 West Ham comes in at the 17th spot. It won 68, drew 22, lost 24, goals for 235, goals against 111, goal difference of 124. It won two trophies and a really good points tally of 226. Definitely a tactic to try out. And like I say, if you want to down it, link for it will be in the description below. If you can't download it for any reason, carry on watching. We're about to run over it. So in goal, we got a sweeper, keeper on defend. There will be some add on instructions. Just pause it when need be. On the left hand side we've got a wing back on support. On the right hand side we've got a wing back on support. And then we've got a ball playing defender on defend. The left hand side one. And then we've got a central defender on defend. In front of them we've got defensive midfielder on defend. And alongside them we've got Segunda Volante on attack. On the left hand side we've got inverted winger attack. On the right hand side we've got another inverted winger attack. Up front we've got advanced forward attack alongside a target forward attack. Tactical style is basically a custom one, just copy everything here. Mentality balanced in possession, what do we have? Attack and whip standard, passing the space, passing rate is shorter, tempo higher, time wasting never, mixed crosses, run at defense. In transition, what do we have? Counter press, counter, dispute quickly, roller out. Out of possession, what do we have? We've got a high press line of engagement, much higher defensive line, Trigger press much more often, prevent short goal kick distribution, get stuck in, and that is your lot on wearing a new top as well. A new delivery from JJ Sports 00. If you want a football shirt, link for that will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. If you can leave a like, and if you haven't done already, subscribe and ring that bell. It would be fantastic. Guys, I will see you in another video. I'll see you then.